Hey, 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 guys. Red Marvel here. Hey, Chage, have hope, have hope. What up, what up, what up, what up? Guys, 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 this is our um, pre recorded um, yep. Spider Man No Way Home spoiler filled discussion. Yeah, so guys, me and my boy, if um, you haven't watched the film, don't watch this thing. Again, I repeat, don't. because there are a lot of losers out there. If you have not watched the film, do not watch this video. Only watch this video if you have seen the film. I want to emphasize that again. This is a spoiler, 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 spoiler discussion. We can't say any clearer. It's a spoiler discussion. <laughs> <laughs> and also, know, avoid know, the like, comments. Wait, wait, wait. Are what? you sure? I mean, is it really? Is, how spoilery <laughs> is it really? What, what What does spoiler really mean? <laughs> very spoilery. With some of the stuff we're sp talking about, very, very spoilery. And yeah, avoid guys, the look, comments. It's, it's avoid the comments yeah. as well, guys. Please avoid the comments if you want to avoid the Yes, spoilery. yes, because... There are guys out there who are openly trying to spoil this for guys. So basically, if you have not watched the film, don't you should even be on, on YouTube. Because I mean, yeah. did, did, did you hear about how apparently like variety uploaded the whole film in 4K on YouTube? I was wow. like, what no, because I think it was Waski says that apparently like the whole thing was uploaded on YouTube by mistake in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> how do you upload something in by mistake in 4K? I'm sure there's someone that's written. Someone's ripped that. Someone's ripped that already and downloaded it. You know, no, 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 no. But I, I think some along we'd have to have a discussion about just again because it was of a similar age about how things have changed with regards to the film going experience and how people yeah. how much more easy it is to spot a film now than it was back like in the nineties or the eighties. So yeah, 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 yeah. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, let's. I guess let's get stuck into it. I mean, yeah, let's go. Obviously, this was a highly anticipated, one of the most anticipated movies of of the year. Um, you know, for those no, obviously... No, 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 no. Go on. So, yeah, go on. You, you said anticipated. What was your anticipation for? Because I know what mine was for and why I was anticipated towards it. So why were you anticipated towards this? For what what, what reasons? Because you know we can go spoil it. So what were the reasons that you were yeah. anticipated for this? Yeah, okay. So I mean, like, I think, I think the first thing is that what I've tried doing recently things for, for movies that I'm anticipated for is is um, is I avoid a lot of trailers. So I only watched the first trailer, which showed Doc Ock, the, 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 the first extension one, and I didn't watch any other trailers um, since then. So that was one thing. I think the key thing with this to me was a few things. One, seeing how the movie would deal with the big revelation of Spider-Man's identity to the public. So that was one thing. How would they handle that? I'm going to talk about that a bit later because that was potentially one of the small issues I had with the movie. Um, second, in that trailer, seeing Doc Ock, I was like, whoa, okay, what are the possibilities here? You know, the rumors of hearing Tobey Maguire, how, you know, I was like, okay, they're probably going to be in the movie, maybe they're not going to be in the movie. I don't know. That kind of, let's see what happens, nice surprise type of thing. Um, and then third, what it actually meant for the whole multiverse thing, because as we talked about, like in um, when we were talking about um, Loki um, and division and um, one division Loki. and Kang and all the rest of it, it was like, how is this movie going to tie into the whole multiverse? What does it mean? So that was kind of why I was, it, it was. There were a lot of questions that I wanted answered going into this movie, and um, yeah, that's that. That was the main reason. What, what about you? You see, I'll be real with you. Like the whole thing with the doc, or because now this movie, my final is crazy. You know, mm. I've never watched Spider Man, the first one, as in the first movie or yeah. the second, never seen it all the way through. And Spider Man 2, I watched way, way, way afterwards, and okay. I've seen Spider Man 3 because okay. for me, I already knew that now this is this for me, and this may make sound crazy for me, it was trash as a Spider Man fan reading the comics. And loving the Fox cartoon show, that's some Remy thing. I was like, nah, this ain't it. So for me, I was just completely out of it. So for me, Goblin and Doc Ock wasn't a big deal for me because I was not a fan of those films. Okay. When I saw them there, and the moment I heard of the possibility of Garfield and Maguire, I was like, they're, they're going to be in it. Yeah. So yeah. my excitement was, you yeah. see, Garfield is the best actor to play Spider Man. He just had a moron and a brick called Mark Webb, who's a class A brick from Siberia, <laughs> who made trash films. But his performance as Spider-Man, for me, it's the best performance. So I was like, wow. 
Garfield in this and the novelty of Tobey Maguire in this within you. Yeah. That's a pretty crazy. So that concept is why I said, oh, no, no. I've got to just see how they handle that. So that is what... And for me, for me, I... I the, the moment you saw Doc Ock and Green Goblin, like, Sony and Thing are working to, together. What's the point of working together if you can't do, hey, let's just bring in all of our characters together in one? Yeah. I was like, of course it's going to happen. So, yeah. Fair, 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 fair. I mean, let's... let's I mean... I want to try and like break this down because uh, I was talking before, like just actually just going like, chronological, movie, chronological just step by yeah. the in chronological orders. So I think um, obviously you know you've got Tom, Tom Holland and Zendaya, you know who are, who actually think uh, acted actually this was probably a best acting yeah. performance. Yeah, yeah, because it's when because I like what she's doing with the character, mm. but she she seems sort of lost in the two films. Mm. It seemed she was just sort of like an afterthought in in the two films. Yeah. And again, maybe it's an issue we'll get into with the whole trilogy. But yeah, this is definitely where she's her, her character's really. Be there was just a lot more her. chemistry between her, yeah. like genuine chemistry, where you like you you felt the relationship. In but you know that they actually. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe so that actually, you know, actually helped. Yeah, in yeah the yeah, combination yeah. thing. So no, I get, I get that. Um, but I mean, you know. The the first like obviously for those because obviously this is spoilers this is spoilers yeah. so I don't know why we're saying we're spoilers so basically this is, comes up with the aftermath of um, Mysterio revealing the identity to um, to the world and then J Jonah Jameson um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a dick basically yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's, he's basically for the whole the whole movie actually you you keep on getting no, because he's, he's always been obsessed with Spider Man and he always hates yeah. Spider Man so he's always he's, he's obsessed. So I got to give it to the I forget the actor's name. Um, um what was it called? J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. Like he does it, like for the role, he does a fantastic job. He's oh, no, no, a he's a quality job. actor. The guy's an amazing actor. You know, he, he I, I can't think of a different J. John James than him because he just he just he just does it to it to a T. Um, so you know, this whole act and you kind of see him, you you see him kind of trying to deal with the rap. I think there are a few things. One, I felt I did feel the star movie was quite slow. Um and but slow in a sense that I was like, okay, how they're going to handle the fact that his identity is revealed to the world? Like in the comics, it's like always oh, families in danger or this, this, and that. Whereas here, it was like, it was like he's now a celebrity. Um, I was like, why, why is he even going into school? Like, what? There were a few things that I was like, dude, what no, are no, you but, looking? But is, you see, I've seen people complain about that, but bro, read like. This is MCU. It's Disney. Yeah. Did yeah, you? Because yeah. again, what should happen is, oh, this is now an issue, and your your life completely changes because yeah. you're now blamed for many people's deaths, and now you as Peter Parker, because it's been now been really revealed, yeah. your whole life changes. So yeah. the way you operate yeah. is messed up, and how this, which is why, for me, the theme of this whole review will be: this isn't a great film, but it's a vibes film. Okay. You know, this film is vibes. It is an amazing vibes film, but as a film in a structural sense, it's not such a very good film. Like how this should go, the first half is he's almost on the run. Yeah. He's almost on the run. I've not seen the, ramp I mean, the ramifications the, 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 of him revealing himself. The, the only thing I would say, is, uh, say, say that now that I'm thinking about it, is that like, is it just because this Spider-Man doesn't have like particularly a, because if you think about it, aside from Vulture, who's mm. in some prison somewhere, yeah, this Spider Man doesn't really have any Spider Man villains, no, for his own. And and the thing with me with Tom Holland, or why, why I do think this is his best Tom Holland movie to, to date, and yeah. best one for him to, to date for the Tom Holland trilogy, so it ended well. Yeah, um, is that for the two for the two movies, it felt that the dude was basically he get ev got everything handed to him. I am like he never really suffered as a, as a Spider Man for me, which yeah. is which is for me the the core of Spider Man. So. Yeah. I can understand that him revealing his identity, okay, puts more attention on himself and his family. But mm -hmm. really, how many villains really gave a um, would be going after? He doesn't have a villain arsenal. That's basically, and that's the point is because that's ending of Far From Home. Mm. You see, for me, it didn't, which is why I didn't know why you were thinking of something different. Because even when I saw that ending, it didn't hit hard for me. I was like, oh, okay. Because mm. as far as the two films have gone, okay, they know his identity and so what? Mm. In the world yeah. they've created, 
Yeah. What would the ramifications be? be. Exactly. If you go via what Spider Man should be, mm. by the time you go to the second film, he's got several villains out there because yeah, this is exactly. a guy who has many villains. So if yeah. you didn't know his identity, bro, yeah, okay, who's Peter Parker's home? Where's Burns? Yeah. Ants May, get out of the freaking country, go yeah, in witness yeah. protection because yeah. they're not going to come after you and after the, the, the people I, I now love. So yeah. the ramifications would be. All those villains are now going to find that everyone that's that Peter Parker loves and everything. So, but yeah, the two you've seen. It's, it's, what, it's okay, they Okay, so what and what? It's 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 stakes basically. It's stakes. Yeah. There were no real, and and this was the thing in this movie was, was was that like it was only really for me from the midpoint onwards. And we'll go talk about things because you know, I want to talk about po- I want to talk about positive stuff about me because oh, yeah. from obviously the fans' point of view, but also a few key themes i was like mm, i'm glad that they did that and i t- yeah. touched on that as well as things going forward but um i think the thing about this movie is that i think it was only really from the midpoint onwards that i was like okay now i'm seeing the stakes now i'm seeing what's up and i think part of the problem with some of the tom Holland movies beforehand is that the stakes have not really been that or felt to be that high no. and really in this movie it was like from the midpoint on it was like whoa okay it's it's getting real now. Like I, I don't know what's going to happen. What's what? Oh, this and we're going to talk about it later. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect a certain death of someone to happen. That oh yeah, that, I didn't expect that. Um, I was like, because they that's the MCU. Because in my mind, I was like, it's the MCU. They wouldn't. And yeah, a lady yeah, yeah, yeah. and a woman, and you know, no, it's our mate. Like, which no. which is why, and that's the frustrating thing because if you had built up this character properly. Mm. Where he had more agency, he's in Iron Man's bitch, mm. and he has more villains. Which, Imagine... to be fair, he wasn't in this movie. I don't. I think he was more of a standalone Spider-Man. Because the, the positive thing but about no, 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 but, but, but see, Boom. but it's 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 a whole pie. Yeah, this okay. film is going off the coattails of the first two. a trilogy. Mm. Everything is interconnected. Mm. This film can't work by itself. So this film works in conjunction with parts one and part two. Mm. So we can't negate those other two parts. No, so as much, no. yeah, he had the most. This he was the most Spider-Man he's ever been in this. Yeah, thing. exactly, exactly. But yeah. it's maybe it's maybe it's a little too late because it's like I can't just ignore the two films where you're literally Iron Man's side side piece. You know, so if he was more Spider-Man and so forth, that ending has way mm. more stakes. Okay, but because it's the MCU. We've got to bring in Iron Man, Strange, everything has got to be integrated and so okay. forth. And that's what I said. I see the MCU, there's a good and the bad. The good about the MCU is that, wow, this is actually a pretty cool thing of a continuous storyline, which is cool mm-hmm. because they've now brought the idea of the comics into now films where, wow, yeah. every, this is so that's a, a cool idea. But the negativity is each film loses its individuality mm. because each film is dependent on this massive, huge I'm picture. Looking, so each film can breathe yeah. it by itself. I think so, there's some movies that 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 you know that 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 are that were done where you don't you feel like you don't necessarily Captain America. Captain yeah, America. exactly. But you're right. I think one of the questions with MCU now that we're feeling, feeling is that like it's almost gets to the point where um, you, you have can't, just, it, on, you can't, can't just, just jump into now. it, and that's where I think DC will have their that have their advantage in that respect with their standalone movies because you can just just you know watch yeah. them. No, no, but because do you know do you know forward the Chelsea fan? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was asking that to you, okay, I'm thinking of watching this No Way Home. Do I have to watch the previous films? Or how many films do I have to watch to enjoy it? And I wasn't sure how to answer him. Because I was like, yeah, look, it's I mean, trouble. You, can make, forth, it, you like, can, you can make a case that you probably have to watch all of the Spider-Man yeah, movies. Yeah. No, Not no, no. just the, the MCU ones, but also Every the Tobey Maguire ones and the Andrew Garth ones. Because you're not, because you're like, who's this? Who's, you see, um, and I can even speak for myself. Mm. I am sure that the Green Goblin, as much as Green Goblin stole the show, mm. it would have hit harder if I actually watched that film when it came out, which I didn't. Yeah. So no, that's, yeah. that would have hundred percent would have affected people differently. Basically, which is why I didn't care about seeing Doc Ock or Green Goblin because I never liked those films. But people mm. who like those films and everything, the experience mm. will be far richer yeah. for them than those who didn't watch the films or didn't really grow up with those films. So yeah. Let's quickly move on to something that I, because because this also maybe I'd heard that it might be a possibility, mm. but I didn't. I maybe I forgot about or didn't really clock on. So when I saw it in the cinema, I was like, okay, they're doing that. Okay. Um, and I thought you noticed it. It's this. Oh yeah, like bro, do you know what? Funny, all the leaks were true. 
Mm. Every single leak every single leak was true. Every but, single leak was true. Like, but this one in particular, I was like, yeah, but they've. T- I think with this one, I was like, they well, teased well, 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 it have before. Hmm? Have you heard what's I've happening? I've seen the things. I've not watched Hawkeye yet. I've not watched Hawkeye yet. Okay, so you do, so you know nothing about Hawkeye. No, 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 no. no. I'm gonna actually okay. watch it over the weekend. As a okay, lips are, sealed, lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. But I haven't. I, but the impression from what I've seen is that they are they're introducing certain um, uh, of those Netflix characters no, no, in the Because I think because remember when it was happening, they always said no. Netflix is separate. Yeah, exactly. And is separate. That's well, they're not going to conjunct. Then exactly. when Netflix then cancelled all the shows, like oh, bro, what, 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 what's going to happen? Exactly. So I think what they're probably going to do now is all right. We have to because these guys were so popular. Yeah. On Netflix. It would be stupid not to incorporate them into this this world now. And also, exactly. I feel like Spider Man, what's it called? It's Daredevil, it's Punisher, it's Kingpin. These are his guys. Yeah. You know, these are always exactly. because they're all in New York. So exactly, exactly, exactly. I mean, the only thing, the only the only thing I I, ha- I issue with this sort of cameo is that mm-hmm. one, he could have done a bit more, but two, it just it's one. This is another criticism I'm having, and I did like this movie. Don't go on, I like this movie, and, and, and we'll talk about that like later. But yeah, I know. I don't like sometimes. Why wasn't he the Disney. lawyer? Sorry? Why wasn't he the lawyer trying to defend him or, or so forth? Why was he just in one scene? He's a really good lawyer. Mm. So why don't you have like a segment of the film where Daredevil exactly. is now where he's, the exactly, lawyer exactly. of Spider-Man? Exactly. So, so it's like, if that's what I'm, I was getting to. Like it, it felt like with, with him being there, it was just to kind of see, see, see. So, so they do this in Disney some, uh, in a frustration because like, don't yes okay i'm happy that i'm seeing you know but it's like it's a small easter egg and then you're mm. supposed to be like oh wow but unlike when movies like for example arcane and Ve- like arcane for example is yeah. we'll talk maybe talk about at some point it's yeah. like i've never played league of legends but i can imagine that the league of legend fans who have noticed easter eggs while watching yeah. arcane yeah. but they didn't but they didn't do it in a way where they were like See, remember this from the part of the game. Remember this. Remember that. Yeah, you know? but this is a perfect example. If there are many people who've, who've never watched the Dead Devil series, mm. so somebody who hasn't watched the Dead Devil series doesn't watch, doesn't read any of the Dead Devil comics. Exactly. Like, what the hell is like for them? Yeah. This scene will mean nothing for, for yeah, them. Exactly. So the, okay, the way they, the way they constructed it, the way they constructed it was like, oh, here he is. But as if he, if they did what you said, which was, um. They revert. They go to a courtroom, and you see him defending him and stuff like that. Yeah. Then yes, okay, maybe people will be like, "Oh, he's just his defendant." That's just obvious because yeah. he's he's in prison. Well, he's you know on trial. Yeah. Whereas for the people that know him, they'll be like, "Oh, wow, that's Daredevil." He's yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it'd yeah. have been a lot more seamless than just hmm. here I am. I'm in a chair. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, no, for me, it's like. The film is worth like two and a half hours. So yeah, we'll there's a lot to three, pack think, it. Yeah. But mm. for me, it's all about how you use your, your time. Mm. So if you take out all that MIT, university, moving to... If yeah. you just take out that stuff and now replace it with Daredevil and him on trial and him trying to now walk a case and defend a case for him. Yeah. And you're now dealing more with the ramifications of him revealing his identity. You're now you making better use of them because this film should have been okay. Two halves. The first half is him and Daredevil. Mm. And Daredevil trying to navigate a thing for him based on the, the stuff that has happened. And then the second mm. half is where all the craziness happens with the multiverse and stuff. Mm. That's a structure. No, I agree. I agree. And well, I, and like I said, but, 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 but the issue is, mm. again, MCU has to have the jokes and the laughs. Yeah. The humor Daredevil is not a comedian. No, like and, and and when you watch the Daredevil show, which is why it's going to be weird to see how they incorporate it because yeah. those Netflix shows are very real, dark. Yeah, they're exactly. not like they're very like they're not jokes. So I mean, how are you going to incorporate a Daredevil, a Punisher, a Kingpin in? So let's joke because this is it. This was a comedy. Mm. Like yes, it was much more of a serious comedy with serious things, but it's still comedy and a lot of laughs. Hence why mm. like Daredevil, I don't know how we can incorporates you into what is Pretty essentially serious. a comedy for the first half so yeah no I, I i agree it's i mean i don't particularly like mc humor i think a lot of the humor is there's a few laughs but it's, it often is nah, quite nah, forced nah. I, I, I mean it's like chuckles like shang chi i thought I, I thought that was humorous but just yeah. like chuckles and, and so forth like yeah. which is why i love the captain america trilogy because 
the comedy was well placed, mm. but it had a much more serious tone. So the so the oh, seriousness mm. and the comedy was better balanced in those three films. Exactly, exactly. And speaking of comedy, um, moving on to the next thing. Obviously, you know, Peter in the movie, he basically goes to Doctor Strange. It's like, listen, my life is messed up. I want you to try and help him fix it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Quick, quick ahead there. Yeah. I don't, do you know some of his ancestors? Mm. You know, they um, own slaves. Yeah. What? Oh, Wait, what? Yeah, Cumberbatch. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, so it's basically like way, 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 way back. Like some of his ancestors, they own slaves. And then when the thing was being abolished, I think they were given like a few million as compensation for loss of their property. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. their slaves. And that's why they said, like, when he was studying, they said that you might think of, you should think of changing your name because people may want re reparations from your family. <laughs> 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 that's a little bit of trivia there, you know, but yeah. Hey, you, probably, you probably should stick to Doctor Strange then. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but no, man, I mean... Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and and it might sound like it's, it's always sound like critical. I love the movie. I love the movie. So the people are watching. I actually love the movie. Like yeah, the let, movie, so. yeah let's be, I mean, see. Um, when, see, this is why it's so much better that we did it this way. This way, yeah. Because we're now does. building up to the really yeah. juicy stuff. So exactly. But I mean, like, okay, a few things. One, mm -hmm. um, Wong is always out. He just always seems to go out. I don't know why. Like, he's always he just is like, oh, I'm going out. I'm like, bro, like. If you actually stayed here, then maybe this thing wouldn't have happened. Like, like, you're the responsible Red, dude. Red, let's be let, let's be real. Wong is a trash character, <laughs> and you see, for me, they know he's a trash character, and they know that the character is in a bit of a, a racist character as well. So they don't really know what to do with him because I'm like, wait, wait why, why? What are you? And uh, you're right. You're always going. You're always yeah. leaving. You yeah. always on. You always say, oh no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm like, bro, just. Chill, wait, yeah, exactly. and just, I'm like, yeah. Look, you can guys, maybe have like reasons, you know. Um, the other thing as well is that like, as Doctor Strange almost points out, it's like, yes, okay, he wants to help Peter and stuff. Mm. Um, but you're like, bro, like, why don't you just ring them and clarify it? Like that was the thing. No, so basically when he, so basically when they, when he, he, so... The, the reason that, that Peter goes to Doctor Strange that triggers yeah. him is obviously the fallout from the MIT results because they're like, oh, it's your fault they couldn't get into MIT. Yeah, 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 now, yeah, to yeah, be yeah. honest, I think, yeah, as a kid in a, a high school, that's kind of end of the world. But like, it's not like their life was were threatened. So in my mind, it was like, in the comics, it's like literally like Aunt May, people dying, threat, whatever. Here, it's MIT. Fine. It's cool. <laughs> but the thing is that, as Doctor Strange says, it's like, if that was the only thing, like, why didn't you just give them a ring to just see if you could clap? Why don't you do that first? Yeah, no, give no, no. Them a I ring mean, and speak to them first and then go to Doctor Strange. You see, you see, see, this goes back to the point we made on the previous thing of, like, if there were real ramifications mm. and Anson May is now in danger mm. and my friends are in danger because my villains mm. know Peter Parker, they know who Peter Parker yeah. is close to. Yeah. Strange, please remove yeah. the energy because I can't be in a million places at once and also try and actually help yeah. people. So and let then, me just go back to the things of where um, I have a secret identity so that I can keep my guys safe. If it's about, oh, we can't get into an MIT. Now, forget everyone. <laughs> I'm like, that's a leap. <laughs> that's a leap. <weak. laughs> it's just... No, no, no. Then, but, but you see, for me, it's like... And then you're ruining the spell. Like, actually, when we did the, actually the, the expectation video, I was yeah. like, oh, maybe it's Kang. Maybe there's some interruption or something like because Peter Parker can't be that dumb. And I'm like, bro, man, you're so... No, 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 so but, 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 but see, for me, the reason why, you see, this is why it goes back to expectations. Mm. I know what the MCU is. Mm. It's a comedy. Mm. So the whole thing of MIT and he's not sure, it's a comedy. And it's a comedy about a guy who is a teenager and a very aloof kind of a teenager. So I'm like, okay, all right, fine. Cool. So you have to just roll with it when mm. it is what it is. It is about he's a teenager. These are all mm. teenagers and these are guys dealing with teenage things and so forth. This is a guy that will make stupid decisions as teenagers would, 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 would make. So once that is what's presented to you, I'm like, okay, there's no point in me putting off expectations of something that isn't what that is. Mm. Yeah, so I said, oh, this is what it is. So yeah, it's it's it's, it's plays into what would be the most humorous thing. The most humorous thing is, hey, he, he starts talking, 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 and then that ruins the whole spell because he can't decide, oh, I say, oh, think, 
okay you know so hmm. yeah it's just uh it's 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 I, I guess it, it sets up the plot and it's fine so hmm. but like at times i was like when these cast the spell and peter's just he just keeps on saying but what about this person should remember what about this one? what's this one and you're like Shh, shut up <laughs> please you're ruining the whole thing and even dr strange is like just be quiet please the spell and so but you know because of that because of peter's you know situation <laughs> this is where it starts to get real now. This is when. <laughs> okay, look. Like, go on, go on. So you've obviously seen, you've obviously seen um, Amazing Spider-Man too. Yeah. How did he get a different haircut? Because his, <laughs> his haircut wasn't like this. So how is it that he had a different haircut? I, I, I'm just putting it to the fact that when he came into the universe and. Um, <laughs> And got the electricity. Yeah. It kind of jolted the hair molecules. Oh yeah, so the electricity was just sort of giving like exactly a, a, a lineup and everything. It like it. Exactly, exactly. It was just like right, got that sort of haircut, fried it, you know. Mm. So, I personally, I think that Jamie Fox who plays him was probably one of the weaker villain. I mean, I didn't like him in Space Spine too, and in here he's just kind of. You know, you know, you know what know. it was. I mm. I found it hilarious because it's Jamie Fox. Mm. This isn't. Like the electric, I know this is literally Jamie Foxx just cracking jokes, yeah, exactly. I was like, yeah, see, I was like, no, I was like, no, this is hilarious because this is literally Jamie Foxx being yeah. himself, cracking yeah, jokes, exactly. like, yeah. I was like, okay, fine, exactly. fine, okay, all right, let's, let's roll with it, you know. So, yeah, like he basically he wasn't acting, he wasn't acting, no, 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 he was just, oh. but the other two, yeah, I think, especially Defoe, especially Defoe, Alfred Dr. Molina. I mean, let we will be not to, to, to the, the, the force. So what, I mean, what do you think about? Molina was good though. He was good. I like Yeah, it. I mean I remember he also obviously... played the good side as well. Yes, exactly, exactly. I mean the start, I mean, obviously, the you know, as soon as like they show Doc Ock coming in the entrance and these and yeah. these, these swings, and you're like, like, whoa, okay, it's, you, it that was the moment where you're like, okay, this movie is now gonna start to pick up and things are gonna start to happen, etc. Yeah, yeah. Um now when I actually watched the trailers, because I only watched the first trailer, yeah. in my mind, I thought that oh. Was Spider-Man going to be teleported to this different? So I thought maybe he might be teleported to that universe. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I didn't think that all the characters were going to be teleported to Spider-Man. Well, Tom Holland's Spider-Man yeah, universe, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, which is fair enough. Um, but to be honest, that fight scene, fighting scene was one of the best fight scenes in the movie, to be honest. It was good to oh, see yeah. you know, them fighting, them fighting each other and, um, and the banter and stuff like that as well. Um, and... You know, he, he he's still got it. He's it's it's it's. I think what what hit me about Doc Ock and Green Goblin's characters, you know, the both both actors, William Defoe and um and Thingy. Well, you see, yeah, maybe maybe see, because for me, even speaking of me, where I used to do acting when I was young and yeah. so forth, when you're good, you're good. Yeah, and it's like you've not played these guys for what fifteen years or so. Yeah, and the way that you so easily go back into the role and you yeah. even elevated it to a greater level. I'm like, you know what? That's just yeah. quality acting. Exactly. And it kind of made me think like, oh my goodness, geez, this is why the MCU has sucked. Yes. Because I, my, one of my big crimes the MCU is that one, no they villain. kill all their villains, which isn't good. But two, there's not that many interesting villains in the MCU. They're not. Like Loki like, is kind of the only one sort of, but everyone else. And, and also let me, be, let me be real, real oh. with, with you. Green Goblin's villainy in this mm. Mm. supersedes any villain in all the MCU mo mo movies. Bro, Thanos is not a villain. Thanos is like, well, maybe from his point of view, he was trying yeah. to... Green Thanos, Goblin, this yeah. guy is bad. <laughs> yeah, yes. This is... Yeah. A, he is, he is just, this guy yes. was... Man, this guy is a problem. And, and, like, and, he's the just is, and the thing is, we'll talk about it later, but like, what I kind of liked is how he played it Yes, throughout the movie, so yeah. he kind of you 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 were led to believe that he was kind of Norman was there and was on his side, etc. And it's only oh, when wait, you... oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. See, mm. I'm confused now. Mm. So was he always Green Goblin, or was it like a kind of internal conflict? I, so, so I think what I think what happened was that. What do you mean? In, as in, um, during the movie? So, 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 so basically, you know, when he goes to answer me and is like, mm. hey, I'm confused. I thought yeah. that was genuine. Yes, yeah, but then, yeah. But then he then switches. Or was it that yeah. Goblin was always in control and he just used the good side as a front? 
I think that when he went to, I think that he. It's an interesting one because, like, because I'm not sure. A part of me says that it was always a front or using it as a front because he mentions that he wanted, like, Actually, he mentioned about Peter wait, Parker. Wait, wait. Do you know why it can't be fronts? His hmm. spidey sense. So his spidey sense would have gone off if that element was always there. So his spidey sense only goes off once the hmm. goblin thing now takes over. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's fair. I mean, I don't know whether. I definitely think that he somehow manipulated the situ- the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because especially when he says like, "Oh, I'm a scientist," um, and also how he, because when he's seeing R. May, he says that he wants to see Spider Man. Mm. So I'm like, "Well, how did you?" Yeah, I think there was. I think I think there was an element like where like he where he um, where. The, the the green goblin personoma t- took us took a seat yeah. back yeah. and waited to see what happened. Um, but before we even even go into because obviously that he it gets wild with yeah. what happens with him at, towards the end. Like no, um, but, but also sorry, sorry, quick there as well. Go on. So they asked William the the four, and they said that he, he didn't want to come back to be a cameo. Hmm. He says, I'm, I, I will I'd, I'd only come back if I was hmm. given a proper role. Mm. So he says, no, don't give me a cameo and everything. Let me bring me back for a particular reason because I'm here to, mm. to do work. So mm. Mm. That's, that's that's very key. And and this is my this is the thing about this movie where you know I actually still put Spider-Verse ahead of this movie. Um, oh, yeah. and the reason why is that is that is that um I think from the villain's point of view, even though I, I love seeing all the villains back, mm. I think it would have worked more in a into the Spider-Verse setting. Where you have one overarching kind of villain, and then these other sub ones kind of around, you know, that like uh, in the case of Spider Verse, the overarching villain was Kingpin. Yeah. But then you had, you know, the um, Growler, I think Miles's uncle, you had, mm. um, you know, the Lady Oct- uh, Oxo Tavis, and a few minor ones. Yeah. And it kind of worked. And on top of that, like the villain themselves had a kind of like a, a motive and understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so where's the here? You know, to be to be frank, some of the villains that came in, like you, you, you get like Electro comes in. You're like, okay, cool, fine. They, 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 they catch him, they stop him. But like Lizard and Sandman, like, oh, yeah, they were like, don't, what do they? They don't do anything. They, I do, mean, they don't do anything. Even Sandman's character, I'm like, okay, so he comes and he protects him because, like, oh, now I'm good. I'm because in the third movie, he, um, he, he turns good. So you're like, oh, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. He, he's cool with Spider Man. But then, then randomly, he's like, "Oh, I'm evil again because I want to go and see my kid." And you're like, "Right, Let's pick one." It doesn't make sense, you know. And lizard, they just kind of, he's smart, and then they just kind of shove him in a van when. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they yeah. Don't know, I think. Look, as I said in this film, it is what it is. It was a party, mm. so they're mm. like, "Look, we have all these villains. Yeah, let's just throw them all in." So mm. because again, if if you're you see. If you're trying to make a film, mm. you can't have all these guys in here. Mm. Because really, if put it this way, you've got to have Doc Ock, you've got to have Goblin. Mm. And now you're just gonna you could not pick one of the dudes from Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man. So maybe you pick a Jimmy Fox or something. But having all like having all these guys and so forth, it's 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 it's, it's way, so it's too much. I mean. One of the things that I did like did like about this was the um they did introduce like I guess a call an, an interesting philosophical dynamic about how the fact that okay, because obviously Strange comes back and they lock yeah. Strange away and he's like, listen, these guys gotta go back. And like, okay, oh, yeah. fair enough, they've got to go back. Um, but then knowing that if those um characters go back, mm. that they will meet their fates at their respective Spider-Man. Yeah. It's like, oh wow, okay, so I'm effectively sending these guys back to their death. Like, can I live with that? Even though then, it's but, but dumb. Then, which is the beauty of what Goblin represents is mm. villains will always be villains. Yeah. That's their nature and that's their their core. And also don't mess with nature. Once you try to mess with nature or mess with fates, you just you you rupture everything. But that's but that's why I thought I thought it was interesting that they went the tactic of instead of the sorts of the right, let's catch all the villains, 
let's beat them up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like mm. Mm, the idea of how about actually trying to cure these guys? Oh, no, 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 how no, about no, no. Trying to help see, them. How about trying I, to? No, do I think no. It was an interesting story angle. It was stupid because that's what they shouldn't mm. do. But no. I was like, okay, this is actually interesting. I was like, mm. because you knew it was a dumb idea, him mm. doing it. But mm. it was interesting that they tried to go there and say, okay, let's actually it's try something, and change their it's face. Some, it's something that I'd expect a teenager, a hopeful yeah. teenager to do. So that's yeah. why I was like, I, I allowed it because it's kind of like, yeah, if this was older, more experienced Spider Man, then I go, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but as a hopeful teenager who wants to make a difference, you obviously got your aunt who's like, listen, we've got to be better. Mm. I'm like, okay, this, and on top of that, when it, in, in in the in the case of Doc Ock, it was a kind of good idea that he did do that because had he not, Doc Ock probably still would have been evil, and then towards the end, that would probably have had negative yeah. consequences. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, that yeah, the yeah, Spider Man yeah. would have won had Doc Ock been on the side of Green Goblin, yeah, and yeah. all the others. It just, it just, it just, uh, it, it would have gone peak, I think, for them, you know. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do you have any other comments about like the villains and how they were portrayed, or like? I mean, I, mean, I, I, I suppose we'll have to move further when we talk about mm. Goblin mm. more, because obviously mm. he does, obviously, like obviously the whole Aunt May thing. So I think yeah. we'll talk more about him. Um, well, also, speaking of Aunt May, bro, um, this is seriously does she does this chick age Marissa Tomei, man? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't age. I mean, I still find it weird that Aunt May is basically young. I mean, I don't know what happened with her and Happy. And what their relationship yeah, 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 situation yeah. is is just gets wild and <laughs> happy's on like you know like sleep apnea and stuff and like I mean I, uh, it's a flip I don't know <laughs> like <laughs> um, but um, yeah I mean I think that because obviously as you, as you go into the movie you know and it gets deep and um, you find out that the goblin basically I don't know why they decide to go to their flat apartment and try and get these cures um, <laughs> but goblin is just like screw you guys like why are you and i like his ph goblin's philosophy because yeah. he's literally like why are we you shouldn't hide your power your powers are yeah, good. Because like, like, gods. Are. like yeah. you're gods be gods and it's an issue with spider-man and he goes rogue um yeah. and i don't know i just didn't expect her to die yeah because i, mean, I was that, like yeah. when, i don't think go on, the... yeah like you because it's like that's a big move mm. but you see how it's all rhymed though mm. because you know we don't know whether he had an uncle ben no so we see his uncle ben is aunt may mm. and people's criticism was about yeah he's never really had a, and that uncle ben was a major catalyst mm. in making in, in making him who he was and so forth so the fact that he now has this death that is not going to be a major point in what really forms it. But yeah, yeah. bro, it's MC. You see, you, you, you think that no one would, 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 would even die in this. So the fact that they took away Aunt Sumay, literally yeah. his only family. Yeah, exactly. Bro, I, like, think that's, I think that's what made it hit home because I was kind of like, it's the fact that like they made him an orphan. Like he literally has nobody. Yeah, no one. Like, and at the end of the movie, you can even, it's even more, you know, it hits home even more because, yeah. like, you know, we'll talk about. Yeah, like, you're, 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 you're literally a loner, like literally a loner. Yeah, and you're just like because at least in the comics, like, oh, he has Aunt May, oh, he has mm -hmm. Mary Jane, he has that sort of leaning support. Whereas here, you're like, no, the dude is literally alone. Like, there is nobody else. Like, no one remembers him, and yeah. his aunt is dead. Like, he, there's no one for him. So how is he going to deal with that? So. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I was, I was very. It was, I think it was, it was touching. It was nice. I mean. I, mm. I was still asking things like, bro, why don't you just swing her to the hospital like quickly? I mean, she still might die, but at least try and get her to get some medical attention. Um, but um, I, I guess I just thought that initially when she was speaking, it was like, oh, yeah, of course. She's, she's a, you know, the standard, oh, she's got injured, but she's alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They okay. just pulled it through, yeah. But the fact that she didn't pull through and, the, and then Peter's response because he's after that he's like bro i want to kill this i want to kill yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no 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 basically it just go on like it just shows you that like again look at the guy that did it it was green goblin from toby Maguire's universe mm. so that even hits some further 
So it wasn't it wasn't even one of the villains from his own universe. Yeah, exactly. So you so you you so don't have any villains whatsoever. You have to take someone from mm -hmm. another universe to be the guy that really dealt the biggest blow to you. Yeah. No, exactly. And and but I mean, in a sense, it's almost poetic from a comic point of view because the Green Goblin is Spider Man's main. Yeah, it is, it is. It is in the thing that there's no other. I mean, Kingpin is sort of kind of a there. Yeah, but no, I think Kingpin is just sort of like Daredevil. I think it's like, put it this way Spider Man's arc nemesis is Green Goblin. His mm. toughest nemesis is Venom. Is Venom, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. the guy that's always beats him up. Yeah. But like, he's basically Spider Man. Spider Man and Green Goblin is like Batman and Joker. Yeah. Exactly. That's, exactly. I'm, it's, I'm, it's, I think it's, even it's, he, it's, he was. He was he was characterized from the Joker, like this kind of like crazy psychotic, yeah, personality. Like that's like the because I like, because see Lizard is because I, I think Lizard is one of his first villains, but Lizard mm. is a bit more complex because he knew mm. Connors, he has a history with him, so that's a bit yeah. more complex. But Goblins, I know this is just like this is yeah, this is the amazing. Doc Hawk is kind of there, and you know it's as maybe as as a, as a, as a second, for, and then mm. in the comics they kind of explore that a bit. But but yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, that's moving on here. Uh, bro, okay, 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 no, no, no. Let me ask this: How big was the cinema? How many people were in the cinema that you watched it in? Um, probably, probably about hundred, maybe more than that, maybe two hundred. One hundred. Okay, 200, so, 200. okay, so look, so I watched Endgame mm. premiere mm. in like um an Audion Locks and so forth. Mm. So mm. when Captain America gets Yoni and so forth, the crowd yeah. was insane. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've had a cinema erupt the way it did when Andrew Garfield came through. Jeez. As in, literally, I was like, <laughs> because I thought the cinema was actually good. I was like, yeah. this is people go, ah, 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 oh my God, oh my God, I knew it, I knew it, oh my God, oh my. I was like, whoa. Like, the cinema went insane. Wow. It went insane. And wow. see, this, see, this thing about me is like, look, I'm in two minds. You see, there's my objective film critic mind of like, okay, look, this was a... Let then the fanboy out, man. Mind. you got to let the fanboy out here, hey, Chase. Yeah, see, yeah, see, see, for me, because I was... Andrew Garfield, I think, is the best Spider-Man. Just mm. seeing him mm. in that, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Mm. <laughs> and so we were, do you know how old he looks? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's the back. This guy the looks back, old, man. This guy looks old. Your back, man, you know. Dude was sort of... But even seeing Toby... But, but seeing Toby, seeing the... Seeing it was... The no, 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 I mean, like, see... The... Into the Spider-Verse of all the Spider-Man things, I just... This is why I, I, I've got to watch the film again. Like, my issue with Spider-Verse is I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. I was expecting it to tell a Spider-Man story. So mm. the Spider-Man thing just caught me off guard. So I said, okay, you know what? Let me just watch the film again. Mm. Now expecting that. But with this, this hit some harder because there's a history of Andrew Garfield. There's a history of Tobey Maguire. So it's not just Peter Parker. It's, oh, this is Tobey Maguire from, oh, from 2002. <laughs> mm. This is Andrew Garfield mm. and so forth. Mm. So just seeing them come through, I was like, wow. And I think for me, the best part of the whole film was the chemistry. Yes, that was yes. easily that was easily. Like, yes, do let me see. As somebody who still prefers to see a Spider Man story in one, I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? As much as I want to not like this, mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I shouldn't like this, but I don't know. I'm actually enjoying this. Was, this was where I, I felt guilty enjoying something that I feel I shouldn't enjoy because what? I've always been against having several Spider Man, there should only be one Spider Man. But I was like, you know what, but I just, it's just the, the humor, the the, the the chemistry. I mean, like some of the jokes. Like, I mean, I remember a few things where, like, they're like, um, so for example, um, Tobey Maguire and um, and Andrew, Andrew Garfield. Garfield are like, sorry, no, Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland are like, oh yeah, Yo, when he makes that like that organic thing. Like, you make yeah. like what? Like, where else does it come out from? You know, stuff yeah. like. Stuff like that, we're like, oh, okay, fine. I could, I could chuckle to that, you know, or the whole. Oh, no, 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 but no, no, no. The best thing, and I think, again, it's obviously all over YouTube is when they, they like, they aren't, they aren't working to, to, to together well. Mm -hmm. like, I, I, and I told him, I like, look, bro, we're not working together. And we have to say, yeah, because we normally work by ourselves. We've never oh, worked yeah. with the team. We said, well, yeah. I've worked with the team, the Avengers. I'm like, hey, what yeah. the hell is Avengers? That's all yeah, like, exactly. Exist <laughs> yeah. in the old world. Exactly. And then, like, 
just how they just sort of combined. Yeah. See, that's why the reason why it works is because oh yeah, Toby Maguire is that thing. Oh yeah, Andrew mm-hmm. Gabba. So they all bring their whole baggage into it. So yeah, just exactly. them as a whole, it was like okay, you know. And look, it's cool. I mean, it's like okay, it is what it is. But if, if you see, as you said, you just gotta let let your fan boys leave. Yeah, now we- See this way, leave cynicism at the, at the door. Exactly, just, exactly. Life is too short. Just enjoy. Exactly. It. Just enjoy it. It was, and it, and, it, and it was, and like I said, there were so many. You know, seeing them together working in the labs, the interaction with Zidane, yeah. Zidane, 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 obviously it's Zidane and um, Peter Pog's best friend. I forget yeah, his Ned. name again. Ned. That Ned, that sort of opens the 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 ring, the magic to actually yeah. get them in 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 the in the first place, um, and. I, I didn't like. I mean, the, the, not even just him, but the touching moments. The fact that, like, when um, he obviously he he's Tom Holland was mourning the loss of Aunt May. Yeah. How they were able to sort of open up, like, you know, bro. He's like, you don't know how I, even though you're Peter Parker, you don't know how I feel. I'm like, no, yeah, 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 you yeah. know how you feel, bro. We 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 carry that cynicism, yeah. you know. Um. So. No, no. I, well, actually, I was thinking, oh, so good. Do you know what struck me? Mm. Tom Holland's suit is trash. <laughs> Compare suits to their suits. Yes, I was because you know I think that we know when they also I'm like when I said like well like that's Maguire's suit is damn good, mm, and mm, that Andrew mm. suit is not bad. Good, yeah, and, yeah. and it just made some Holland suits just look so much trash compared to to, to their suits. So, yeah. yeah, I think I also think that um you know, but also you also know what the big moment was, man. You know when um MJ starts to fall. Yes, yes. So. so, 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 so so, People bro, went insane when that this happened. Is, this is what I'm saying. I was like, it was almost like because the, the kind of the, the theme of this movie is almost like um, redemption or something. Like, like re- redemption. Things, well, yeah, yeah, like low, like um, like 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 low points or pain, and then redemption. And you saw in this movie where, as you as you're saying, like MJ's falling, and. Uh, Tom Holland like goes goes for him and then like you're like and you're like oh, and again like typical <laughs> is like, goblin, yeah. and then the goblin guy that hits and you're like oh no oh no 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 no, no. no, no, no. Wait, 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 just pause you know I'm I think we have to talk more because you see now it's coming back to me hmm. goblin has been more of a villain in this film than in yeah. any villain in, in any MCU film yeah like you see that's what, see, this is my issue with Infinity War on Thanos. Mm. What Goblin was in this film is what I wanted Thanos to be yeah. in Infinity War. Yeah. Where this guy is a problem. Yeah. And they this guy is really... Relatable. What? I feel, that, I feel they made Thanos... Because in the comics, Thanos is just is a, just an evil douchebag. Yeah. You know? But here, they, in, in, they made him a bit... Um, I think for the case that the scene was fine, but they did make it a bit too relatable. Yeah, like, and, oh, and it's, 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 see, when you can relate to a villain, it removes his villainy. Mm. What made Goblin so good is that this guy is just bad. Like yeah. there is no there is no explanation or reasoning to for what he did. Mm. It's just bad. Mm. So once that happens, that's a villain. Because mm. a villain, you're supposed to you're not supposed to rationalize with it. You're not supposed to see it from his point of view. It's like no, this no. guy is just bad. So no, no. But the fact that, like, you know, I mean, I don't know, because you didn't watch Amazing Spider-Man two, did you? I, mean, I did, I did. Oh, you did, you did, you did. Okay, so no, 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 um... it's, 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 I, I, I didn't watch Spider-Man three or the whole of Spider-Man one. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so I sure that you, even you could appreciate that, like, when she's falling, bro, and then it's Andrew Garfield Spider-Man that obviously yeah. saves her. <laughs> no, no, so no, I, like, I, go on, go on. Oh, it's, 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 because that's good. seeing that in the cinema, you know, Amazing Spider-Man mm-hmm. two. Yeah, I was like, "What?" Because yeah. you so expected him to save her. Like, I went exactly. to go, look. I'm like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. The people were like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. was crazy. So yeah, like when um, he said, "No, bro, my cinema went insane, bro." People when went he saved insane. her, or when she was falling? No, 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 no. When he saved her, he saved her. Yes, it, people because like, you ah! got it because because you're like. Redemption because it's like redemption for Andrew Garfield's yeah, yeah, Spider Man. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, like yeah, yeah. he he couldn't like, and he saw his emotion when it's like, yeah, you okay? It's like, oh, thanks. It's like no, no, no. Like, sorry, like this one's gonna make a lot of money, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah. See, and even we see this one said like even with the pandemic, because obviously I'm not. I don't think America has the whole Omicron issue mm. as mm. much as in England or other places. But even when I saw the movie, I was like, bro, even with the pandemic, 
this one's gonna make so much. It's money. already apparently it's already breaking box office records in America anyway. Like it's apparently projected to be like I think the third, possibly the third highest grossing MCU movie box opening. You know of opening of, of all which time. Which is insane. Listen, my thing is, if there was not a pandemic, you're looking at mm. almost two two billion. Yeah, like like easy, like. Yeah. Based on just the whole nostalgia thing and everything, this would easily do almost two billion. But obviously, we'll, yeah. maybe we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah. How much we make? Yeah. Cool. Speaking on redemption, I think I think it was also nice for the redemption part for Toby Maguire because obviously Tom Holland goes goes and finds um, uh, Norman and it's like, right, we're gonna settle this. And like, he's just he's just la- he's laying down, he's beating, he's beating him up. He's 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 like, I'm gonna kill this guy. And he almost does because he grabs the goblin glider mm. and he's almost about to like throw it on Green Goblin because Green Goblin is, is strong, but you know, yeah. he's stronger. And he's about to throw it, and then Toby Maguire like holds it and says, like, stop. And what I just find fascinating is like again the redemption, because in the first Spider-Man movie, and so you didn't watch it, um, it's actually like um Norman Osborne is killed. By his goblin guider. And so because oh. of that, like Harry Osborne loses his father and he blames Spider-Man and so on and so forth. Mm. So the fact that like he stops Norman from being killed by the glider oh, is yeah, almost yeah. like, wow, I was actually able because he wanted he didn't want Norman to die, I wanted to save him. So yeah. it's like, whoa, I actually stopped Norman from being killed by his glider. I've redeemed oh, yeah. myself in that situation. So basically they both. It was almost like there was good closure yeah. for Garfield. It's almost like you, you've wrapped up yeah. the you know the Amazing Spider-Man universe and the yeah. Remy universe because you've given those main characters closure on mm. very key or big decisions that affected the, those characters. Yeah, it's, 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 see, that's why. Even as, which is why it is so hard to rate this film mm. because you can't rate the film as a standalone. Mm-mm. It's the film is. But see, this is why it's. The MCF has created this kind of weird kind of almost new film genre, mm. which claws on to previous films. Mm. Because as again, if you watch this film without seeing any of the Maguire films or Garfield film, bro, you're like, what is this? Yeah. Like basically yeah. it'll be it'll be like if it will this would be a throwaway film, you're like because it is imperative that mm. you watch those films. Yeah. Because these certain things hit home. Like, if you didn't watch Amazing Spider-Man 2, that thing with MJ, like, okay, he saved us so what? Like, oh, oh yeah. wait, why is he crying? Yeah, oh, okay. exactly. All right, all right whatever. Uh, so, but yeah, so it's one of those things of like, where like, it's basically, it's the ultimate vibes movie. Yeah. But, yeah. but it's, do you know what I call it? This is, this, this movie is like, is, is, a, is a moment's merchant. Moment's merchant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, and, and to be fair, like, I mean, the more that I think about it, the more I'm like, to be honest, I'd rather have more of those types of movies. I'm not saying mm. we should be if we should have them in excess, but sometimes it is nice to have that type of movie than to have like a a just a really bad reboot or you try and you know you know you try and rejig characters to try and modernize it's, 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 them. Because this bond, is like you know this is nostalgia, but with a story behind it. Yeah. So not like hey, basically with uh, basically. Like the whole Daredevil thing. See, that's just like okay, hey, come here. Mm. But this like no, Garfield and and Maguire, they've now been incorporated into a story, and mm. there is a narrative point as to why they are there. So the mm. points hit home a lot more. So mm. no, I agree, I agree, I agree. Now we're almost kind of because there's obviously a, a few big things discussed towards the end, but I mean, I mean, this is here because it's like obviously the movie kind of wraps up with. Mm. Um, um, Doctor Strange trying to kind of fix things because he's obviously been released. Um, and the only way they're able to fix things is by basically everyone forgetting who Peter Parker is, yeah. effectively. Um, and the movie ends of him basically effectively being alone. Yeah. Um, you know, he goes into friends like any like, and she's like, because I felt that, I'm not going to lie, I felt that when, when Zendaya, MJ was like, Come find me, come find me. Hey. We're not gonna make you go. And he's kind of like, yeah, I'll find you, I'll find you. And then they show the seat, and she's just kind of, I just don't know who you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he's like, he has to make a decision. It's like, do I try and become friends with them again, or but, 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 do I just, just leave them? Like, 
like how do you because again it's like it's happened in such an organic way you're like mm. how do you even rekindle that same chemistry exactly. that, that you once had and so forth and exactly. obviously you can't tell them that hey you know we met a wizard who basically erased all of our but see now yeah. here's my question mm. so none of the avengers know who he is so that's the key so, so that's the key thing because, because, think... because my thing is that so are you saying that what they've now done is all that stuff in Infinity One and everything, Spider Man wasn't there. It must or was Spider Man still there, but they don't know that it's Peter Parker. Maybe yes, because the the, the spell, if I if I understand it, is that like Sp- no one they know no Spider Man, but they don't know it's Peter Parker. Yeah. So because the spell was that well, the spell was that like people should forget who Peter Parker was, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the spell. So I suspect oh that people know that Spider Man exists. Exist. But they, but I don't think they anyone don't know their identity. So basically, Peter, Peter yeah, Parker exactly. is like no one knows who Peter Parker is. Exactly. So it's almost like it felt like this was almost like a soft reboot, mm. in the sense that you now got a situation depending on how whether Tom Holland comes back or not, who we go, what, what happens. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, like what's it called? Amy Pascal, the um, Sony exec, so that's there's going to be more films with him. Fine. Okay. No. So, but it's almost like right. They're now that whether they're do- doing it as a as a way to say right, okay, we're going to go on. Um, it felt like they were almost going more of like, right, we're going to take him into more of an individual direction. Yeah. Um, then he's going to be heavily tied to different, like the last three movies where um, Doctor Strange is here, Iron Man is here, this person is here. It's like, no, we're going to focus on Spider-Man because we've essentially cut off all of his connections because now no one knows, no one knows he's Peter Parker. He has no Aunt May. Um, um, you know, he doesn't really have any friends. So mm. it's really a flesh... Yeah, blank play like any like anything can happen with this character now, basically. But I suspect, based on a certain post credit scene, that they're going to be going down that particular angle and um, taking advantage of that. In fact, let's just let's just yeah, let's no, just, no, let's let's let's, let's just get, get it. Let's see. it. Yes, this was this. Do you know this? This is what's made me the happiest. Do you know why I was so mm. happy? Mm, mm. That bomb ass trash piece of crap. Some Hardy Venom has yes. now gone back to his universe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the symbiote exactly. remains. Yes. Which yes. means that there's going to now be a Venom for yes. this world. Exactly. Because, because you see, my fear was that, oh boy, like they're now going to have Tom Hardy's weird, quasi yeah. messed up Venom. I was like, but no, that's not how Venom is. Yeah. So hopefully, now, like, oh, cool, stay in your trash. Universe and yeah. so forth. Yeah. You're not gonna now. Hopefully, you're gonna now have a new venom, which is now the it, proper venom. Was that, that maybe this is now? So if you're not gonna do like let's say another three films, yeah, venom is now his antagonist for the next three films. So the next one is about now building up who Eddie Eddie Brock is. Yeah, and maybe he, maybe you now see venom. Maybe you he now becomes venom at the very end of the of the first film. So basically, yeah, I'm like, oh, bro, this is great. You can now hopefully fingers crossed now do a proper because you know what I've always said. Mm. You know, this is my number one villain. In, in comic books. Venom. Venom. Like, okay. I've never liked the Joker. Joker, like, Venom has always been like, no, but because, like, the look, the design, mm. what it looks like, and how much he's an antagonist for us. I was like, bro, and Spider Man 3, that's why I didn't watch that piece of crap. I'm like, <laughs> because, yeah, because, 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 yeah. no, like, because, because Raimi, he didn't want to do Venom. They mm. forced o- o- upon him. That's why it's mm. on that trash. Mm. And, Red, I cannot. You know, I was actually going to do a video on this because I'm trying to find the emotions to do it. Mm. I can't put into words my hate mm. for that Tom Hardy Venom film, for those films. Mm. The way that they have bastardized and in, I know what makes it worse is how much money it makes and how so, so, so successful. <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's even worse. But my thing is that again, I just don't know what I'm saying. Things are set up in a very good position because my thing is now mm. there's no Iron Man, there's no Strange. Mm. He's now a lone dude now, mm. so therefore mm. he now has more agency. He's grown mm. up a lot based on what has happened. So now mm. you can now have a more grown up Peter Parker. Exactly. Now, exactly, and, also, exactly. and this is the kind of Peter Parker that now can go up against because the Peter Parker in Homecoming was thinking can't go up against Venom. Mm. Do it. No. Like no, 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 he's a kid. He's a kid. Yeah, a kid. It, 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 well, except it, it, except it, it the one in the, 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 the animated series, but that was a bit different. There was a, um, 
not the the old school, but the, the spectacular Spider Man. If you watch that, it's the it's oh, one no, of no, our no, recent no. ones. But that but that was actually quite good. Um, but um, but yeah, I see. No, no, but, no, but, but have you seen the one from the nineties? The, the yeah, the so I've seen the nineties one. Yeah, there was there was a nineties one, and there's a, a recent one that was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. mythical spectacular Spider Man. But it was yeah. good writing and stuff. So, but but yeah, no, I see. I mean, it's. I almost think that this is almost the 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 right time for you know, because the whole point of I think Venom coming in or what was that it almost fed up to a certain extent on Peter's like negativity, yeah. And I think that Peter is in and on top of that, like it's a symbiote, so it's yeah. almost like like it's a living organism, you know. So I think it's almost like Peter will want that company. So if anything, it'll be interesting to see how Peter becomes so reliant and dependent on the symbiote, being that it's the only thing that's going to be there for him in his life. So maybe, so you're saying that maybe what happens is because my thing is, so so how do you make that a film? So if it's in that, like, the film... So essentially, I I, I would... The symbiote now goes to him. Mm. He's now evil. Not not evil, but I think because in the comics, in the comics, he's not, he he doesn't actually, like, he's not actually, or doesn't start in quote evil. Like he he lives with it it's only really towards maybe the bro, 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 come on this is this is this is Disney you're not gonna allow your a sweet little Tom Holland to be this edgy dude that feeds off negativity and so no, I mean it'd be it'd be interesting to see how long he kept the suit for basically because yeah. I I'd, I'd like to think that like he didn't just wear it for like a quarter of the movie and then oh he rips it off like the that was my one of my issues with Spider Man Three was that like you should have you should have used it in a way where like it's like it's a gradual um taking over yeah. and actually um we're referencing spectacular spider-man by the way this that's why you should, if, if you have any time watch that series probably yeah. Netflix, it's actually one of the best spider-man series i've ever watched because what it does is that it's not just a, oh he wears it and then he becomes evil it's like no he's still spider-man he's just that he his personality changes some but it's a gradual yeah. deterioration that he doesn't yeah, realize, yeah. and then actually, what happens is that, like, you find out that he gets rid of Venom because it ends up being a battle in his mind between his relationship with Venom and his relationship with his uncle Ben, and they kind uh, of have a fight in their mind, and then that's how he kind of gets rid of it. So that's kind of where I, I, I'd like to see them go with this Tom Holland character, and that it's not just like a one or a thirty minute. I've got it, and then I don't have it anymore. But that they at least carry it, and also what was. What was great about the comics was that you saw that interaction with the other Avengers. Yeah. So it was like, so it wasn't just all oh, his schoolmates. It was like, oh wow, oh Peter Parker's got a new suit. He's black, like he. And some people liked him, some people didn't. So it'd be interesting to see his interaction with, um, I don't know, four or the Guardians, etc., and that new Peter Parker personality. If that makes sense. Yeah. No. no I mean, a bit to, to see what. So, I mean, I used to they intro, intro, introduce Eddie, Eddie Brock into that film. So, yeah, so I think... As a character. As I would have a yeah, so they would... You know, so, yeah, you know, you know what? Basically, the, yeah. the, the issue is Spider-Man 3 is, remember, you had Sandman, you had yeah. Hobgoblin, and you had Brock. So, if you have the film where, no, it's yeah. Eddie Brock, it's Peter Parker, mm. and you build up with the Eddie Brock character of he mm. is obviously... So, you can have a thing of where Peter Parker is growing up, and this is now where he becomes a photographer. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And he now gets a job working as a photographer because he can take pictures of yeah. this Spider-Man guy and, 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 yeah. and everything and so forth. And he's now competing with Eddie Brock. Yeah. And Eddie Brock is pissed off because Peter Parker is, 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 is pretty much always getting the kind of gigs that he normally wants to get. And, and Eddie Brock is sort of yeah. has, is, is, is a little yeah. bit uneasy about himself. So you can you can give, add more juice and weight into the Eddie Brock yeah. character. So when he now becomes Venom at the end, aha, yeah. we you now can know... Make, you okay. could easily you could easily make a trilogy of Spider Man and, and, and Venom no, from no, the whole. That, that's what I said. Like mm. my thing is that sorry, that symbiote thing was this is a godsend because yes. this perfectly <laughs> sends up a thing of like this is because this is such a and also you end it with carnage. Yes, exactly. Not Which the like is even he's even crazier. I was so disappointed. I watched the Venom Two Carnage. I mean, I love the only thing. Red, I, red, 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 red. When I saw that piece of crap, bro, I was like, get, 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 I, get this piece of crap off. off I love the design. I love the design of Carnage. I love the sort of so he looked so he looked like Carnage. I was like, good, great, 
That's if you could just get. And the thing is, Woody Allen isn't a bad actor. It's just it's, it's the script, man. No, it's no, the it's script. no, no. Woody Harrelson is, bro. Tom Hardy is a bloody good actor. Yeah, but no, if the no. see, if the actor says this and the actor says this, it is what it is. You have to go via the direction, via the the, the sort of the film and what the director is directing you to freaking do. So it, it is it is what it is. But right. like, and Look, you, do you know yeah, what? You do you know what? Do you know even painful? Imagine Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock done properly. Properly, yeah. That's that would be a that's as an amazing antagonist. And I imagine Woody Harrelson done mm. properly with Carnage. That's even and a more amazing thing. Mm. But you know, it it it. it, it I, see, I want to know what his name is. Um, because there is an actor. Maybe I'll mm. I'll try and share this. So no, keep keep mm. keep talking. I'll try and share this afterwards. Um. No, no. Oh, so I was actually going to move move on to, I guess, the final the, the final uh, cut, cut scene, which wasn't really a post credit scene, but more of like a a trailer, basically for this. Oh, movie. yeah. Movie, um, the the um, multiverse of madness um, yeah. thing, where obviously do- the ramifications of this movie, Doctor Strange, fractured things. It was good to see um, what's his name, the actor that plays Mordo. Um, black guy. Oh, um, uh, is it that Twitter? Uh, no, yes, no, is that yeah. Twitter's Jeffo? No, yeah, um, Matt, Matt Mickelson. No, is it Schulte, um, um Twitter a, a Jeffo? Yes, yeah, Twitter a Jeffo, yeah. Um, for who plays Mordo? Um, because he hasn't, I haven't, because he hasn't been here since the original Doctor Strange. Yeah, yeah. Um, but to be honest, the biggest thing about this trade, aside from just like the few things as a comic book fan, like that, I'm like, like, like picked up. I was like, oh, okay, that's that's cool. Shima Gora, a few kind of in- interesting things. But I think the big thing that I was like, wait, what? Was that at the end, like when it's like the biggest danger is you, and they show that kind of oh, like, evil looking yeah. Doctor Strange. And I was like, but that's the evil Doctor Strange from What If? So I was like, are you mean to tell me that they took the What If animated evil Doctor Strange and puts him into the MCU. Oi, 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 you know, I, I still haven't seen What If yet. What If? What If? So, sorry for so, sorry for the spoilers there, bro. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. It's cool. No, no, it's fine. I mean, like, I'll, I'll watch out to play it like so what's the, if what? So, Wild says, watch the... There's a What If episode. So, 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 I mean, like, what's the general idea? Like, okay, so, so there's a What If episode where so, he's the... Yeah, so basically what happens is there's a What If episode which basically says, what if Doctor Strange didn't lose his hands, he lost his heart. So effectively, oh, okay. what happens is that, like, instead of like um, his, like his, his basically his girlfriend um, gets when they're in the car together when they're driving, like his basically girlfriend gets killed, basically, um, but he survives. Um, not, not, not his hands, which is in the main, which he can't be a surgeon anymore. So in this universe, basically, um, he go, he follows the same path as Doctor Strange, where he goes to the Ancient One and gets the magic and stuff. The purpose of it is to try and bring back his girlfriend, but they keep on saying that like he can't do it. It's like a nexus point, i.e., it can't be changed. Mm. You know, so he keeps. So he has to. So basically, long story short, of it is that like he's obsessed with bringing his girlfriend back by any means. Okay, and so what okay. he does is he just absorbs like all of the different magical characters and entities into himself to get more and more and more and more powerful so that he can then basically bring this person back. And the more and it's not just good energy, it's like it's just it's all these different demons, magic. So mm-hmm. the more he gets, the more corrupt he and obsessive he becomes. Um it's actually quite a dark episode. And then eventually oh, no, no, like, no, 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 because I'm, I mean what's that? <laughs> Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to re- renew my Disney Plus thing. It's, so. it's, it's probably the best episode out of them all because you, it, it ends up with basically just him, just like getting just things get pop up, just pop off, and he, 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 he his universe gets when he gets crazy. But basically, um, he so, gets so, so, saved so, so, by the has, They've so. taken that what if episode as inspiration for. No, no, no not even that. Taking the what if episode, I think that they've, I because incorporated it. Yeah, no. What no? What I think is that I, I heard that What If was part of the MCU canon, right? Oh. So I think what they've done is it's not just they can call it inspired. They've taken the character literally from that episode oh. and put him in to the to, to the MCU. That's okay. what was mad about this because like I can't remember an animated character. 
being taken in from Amsterdam and then being put in as a live action. So he's got that backstory already. Oh, okay. like, am, I, am I making yeah, sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but so, I, I think that's it. I need to just watch the, the Watson the episode, episode so yeah. I have like a, a better idea. Yeah. So, so, so if you just Absolutely. share my screen. Yeah. So I don't know whether you've seen this actor before. I think he's Jason Clark. He'd be my pick for um, Eddie Brock. Fine. He'd be my, my, my pick for Eddie Brock. Like, I'd, like if you see some of his stuff, I think he was in Planet of the Apes. He this thing called Lawless yes. Witch from Hardy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you probably know him from Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I mean, because my thing now, bro, just starts clean slate. Leave that mm. piece of trash Venom back there. Clean mm. slate. A good mm. proper Eddie Brock. Make that mm. a, a new tragedy. Him, him against Venom. No, I agree. I agree. I think they need but, to... I mean, because I think what happened is... The idea is, they obviously he basically forms a new relationship with obviously MJ and Ned, mm. completely new, and that obviously now has now starts from almost scratch and everything. Mm. But and then and but like because just like how and he may sometimes slip up because it's like she's like wait how do you know that's about me wait how do you know that about me how do you know that about, about me because mm-hmm. like, oh because it's, yeah I forgot know you so mm-hmm. it be interesting mm-hmm. to see how that happens but yeah no I agree I agree I agree fair fair fair. I think, bro, is that, that that's that's it pretty much in terms yeah. of. A, I mean, we're going to obviously have a live hangout. Yeah, yeah, a live hangout. Thing when when next, guys, where, where we can know. just go crazy and just talk, talk, talk. Yeah. You see, see, but my thing though is, um, I was going to say, um, how much money do you think it makes in, in in a pandemic? A lot. Well, the thing is, that's what the thing is. That's what people people are saying that like, it's almost proving this kind of pandemic thing aside because it's smashing records in terms of initial opening sales because mm. not because not had a weekend yet yeah like we're, we're waiting for the weekend no, no, I, I, I think they, they, they said <coughs> in the uk mm. th- it's like the one of the biggest opening days mm. ever which was the wednesday because because it opened in the uk on the wednesday so that's exactly. like one of the biggest opening days that the uk has ever had yeah exactly and you know and, and you know these kids don't care about omicron man no, so, <laughs> like, but this... also, but also, it just shows that, like, when there's a, a highly anticipated movie, like, people are gonna. So, you know, what, what's it called? Fast and Furious, I think, made seven hundred million. Mm. This is gonna make. This is gonna. This is gonna make. I think it's gonna make more than Fast and Furious. I think. Oh it's no, no, no. See, 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 if Fast and Furious made seven hundred million, still with the pandemic still there. Mm. Th- <sighs> see, my thing that does it. Does this make a bill? I mean, there are going to be a lot of people that are going a second and third time. I mean, no, no, see, my thing time. is that all I'm thinking, all that sounds in its way is the pandemic. Mm. But my thing is that there are guys that are going to be like, I don't give a freaking damn. There are people who are going to watch like five, six, seven times. Exactly. Based exactly. on the nostalgia facts. Because I said to myself that's 800 max mm. or 850. But it opens puts in mind that, see, my thing is that it's just like, I think Star Wars made like a billion just in America, Force mm. Awakens. Mm. So, Let's say, because I think Europe is, is the one that's really dealing with the whole Omicron thing. I don't know whether it's that big mm. in America. But you mm. know, Americans, these guys, especially these guys, they, they, they don't give, give you a crap. So they're guys that are going to it like seven, eight times. Mm. So mm. I'm still going to say it makes 850. Mm. I'm still going to say it makes 850. But, bro, like, especially if you grew up with Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, and so forth, mm. this mm. is something that, can, that you can just watch and repeat. Because... I've just been looking at the re- reviews on Twitter and guys are like, oh my gosh, I cried so much. This is so amazing. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. This is incredible. I'm like, because I think the one guy said like, um, there was a post that said that, is the Dark Knight better than every MCU movie? And I'm like, screw you. The three yeah. Captain America movies are better than that trash. And the guy said, <laughs> and the guy said like, oh no, like, no, I think No Way Home is better. And I said, here's the thing. Dark Knight may be technically better. Mm. Bro, I had more fun with No Way Home than Dark Knight. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't enjoy the the, the, the the dark. It's not for me. I find that it's it's a bit boring. I didn't enjoy that that film. Okay. But this, yeah, there are a few flaws here and there as we saw. But this was more like that. You see, my best cinema experience is still probably Endgame. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But I this agree this yeah. probably is close second. But yeah. Endgame was see Endgame was crazy because I also I think Endgame is because I watched it opening night with obviously a crowd of fanboys. Mm, mm. It was it made it special. But bro, yeah. And also remember, this is the in the UK. Remember, people don't shout in the UK. People, people no. are, so 
Yeah, exactly. Imagine what guys are doing in America. In the US. I, 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 I see we pay for a New York reading of this. I see your, your audience reactions already uploading on YouTube, and everyone's just literally like, I'm like, bro, I hope these guys have aren't having heart attacks in the theater because uh, especially when they all I think there's a scene when like literally all three Spider-Man are oh, swinging yeah, yeah. to the no, thing no, no. and they make that no, pose and you're just like no, no, no. people will lose their minds. Mm. And see, thank you. It's a good thing that we actually remembered it. Spoilers. Mm. What's an amazing because you know like you know the in the second trailer. Obviously, mm. you didn't see this in the second trailer. Sony and Marvel, they were trying to decide whether to put Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in the second trailer. Mm, mm. And it's so good that they didn't. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, it's Spider-Man. Guys mm. are going to go anywhere. Mm. Now, there are people who don't have a Twitter account. They yeah. don't have a Facebook account. They're not online. So imagine yeah. just going into there, not knowing mm. anything, mm. and you just see Tobey Maguire show up. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. be amazing. See, yeah. if let's say this came out in the nineties, where this was pre-internet, all we had was like magazines and like having to watch the movie shows on TV, and you went in not knowing anything, bro. It's it, we, an amazing experience. But see, the issue is that we live in a world where it's the world of clicks and mm. views. Mm. Which do you, do you do you know this guy called John Campier? Yes, yes, yeah, know yes, yeah, yeah. Do you know this guy? He apparently had like exclusive pics because mm. it was him who basically leaked the pics of um, Daredevil and so forth. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, bro, you are one of the biggest YouTubers out there. Mm. Why would you? And he said, oh, he didn't. He said he didn't know that they were real. He thought they were fake. Mm. I was like, <laughs> I was like, bro, I was like, why? Why would you even put that out? Even if you think yeah. that. The, why would you even put it out there? Put it out there, yeah. You should want people to go in there, but because people are so hungry for views and hungry for clicks and traction, they want to be... Because my thing is this and that. Who would have... Someone obviously took a photo mm. of Andrew Garfield and all of them on that scaffolding. Mm. Why would you give that to anybody? Mm. Because my thing is, I'm sure that's what I said. Guys, please... No, because you see, my thing is, yeah, of course not. Yeah, yeah. How does that get out? Because my thing is, I'm sure the rest of said no photos. It's too, no it's nothing. too big. I think the movie is just too big for it to. That's the problem. There's well, so well, much. Well, see, it goes to my issue that like, it just shows that like people get more excited with you know this is gonna happen than bro. Mm. Let me just. I I I know when some people, but man, let me let people just see this and be surprised. Imagine mm. imagine if we had no idea. Mm. We're like, oh, we're just gonna watch that, and that happens, mm. bro. Basically, mm. if let's say I walked in and I had no idea that Garfield or Maguire in a bro, my mm. mind about like, what the hell? I mean, this is this it is why I tr- it literally blow my mind. I mean, this is why I try to avoid. I mean, because I mean, I was, I kind of, I mean, I didn't know, but I kind of, ex- I kind of expected it just based on seeing the other villains from the other, other other universes. But this is why I try these days. When, if there's a movie I'm anticipating, I often try and limit myself to one trailer, often yeah. the original trailer. And then I basically just stop watching. Because like you said, like more often than not, especially with certain movies, like I think, what was the trailer I watched recently? Um, it was some sort of space movie that they're releasing la- next year. And they showed it in the cinema. And I was like, you basically showed me essentially a summary of the entire movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, why, yeah, yeah. Why do I need to watch the movie? Like you... You, you, you spoiled it, so there's no real point. So, yeah, trailers often reveal too much, and you know when people can just leak stuff all the time, it just makes it difficult. So, um, yeah, I prefer the simpler time when you just like you just found out what you're watching um, when you got to the movie, and if yeah, it was no, garbage, no, yeah, it was it's, garbage. It's, it's, yeah, like you would go into a film not knowing anything. Yeah, and you see. And I think it's hard, hard to explain this to people. So for these kids, they don't they don't have any concept of like going into a film not knowing anything. Mm. They grew up in the world where you're on the inter- internet all day and you're just used to leaks. And mm. for them, they're just like, hey man, I know what happened. See, I know this mm. happened. So I'm going to just share, 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 share this with everyone. So the concept of, wow, the movie going experience of not knowing anything, it's... It doesn't mean anything yeah. to, to these kids. So they're like, hey, I'm just going to ruin this for everyone because, yeah, because I, I know you don't know. I know it's it's maybe it's just a generational thing, man, where it's like there's just a lack of appreciation of not knowing. 
yeah. and you generally being surprised by the things that happen. People just want to ruin that sort of surprise, which is weird. Yeah, no, I don't disagree. So agree. Right, guys, guys who are watching, thank you guys who are who are watching will be watching. Obviously, this is a, this is pre-recorded, but we are going to be doing a live um, hangout discussion. Yes, sir. be open so we can get everyone involved and just basically just you know divulge like the the, the good stuff. But hopefully, everyone enjoyed um, this pre-recorded um, live discussion. Make sure you leave your comments below. Obviously, this is spoilers, spoilers, spoilers again. Spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> So avoid the comments. I mean, if you I mean, can, I mean listen to do you know what? I'd laugh if like someone made a comment below and it's like, "Oh man, you just you just, you just ruined the whole movie for for, for me." Man. <laughs> like you've been warned, guys. You've been warned, guys. You've been warned, man. Have a nice day, everyone. H H. Peace. Was a pleasure, man. Cheers. 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 Peace. Peace. Peace.